Hey guys, I'm just coming to you all to give you all the latest news and information from the uh, Madrid fault lines, uh, the levees that have been all blasted, also the new Madrid project. I want to give you all the updates on all the information around that. Plus I want to give you uh, the reason why that they decided to choose to blow the levees. And I'm going to show you topics that were not even announced or even publicized on any mainstream media news uh, during these events of what was actually being hidden behind the scenes and you're going to be really shocked when you see all of this information. Um, I'm going to first of all I'm going to start with refreshing your memories of the levy uh, being blown inside of the New Madrid. Then I also want to uh, you know what you see here this is the CNN news is talking about the levies and then also I'm going to go to this one here now notice, since the New Madrid uh, fault line explosions have taken place, the USGS website, Live Internet Seismic Server, all the servers that are very vital uh, locations and geographical locations are offline, that are vital to the United States' interest and the citizens that live there. And I found it's quite interesting that it's been offline and even here today it's even offline May the 3rd 2011 you can all see it right here and that's just uh, something I want to brush with y'all real quick because this may be significant uh, to why they're offline because they don't want anyone to know what they're doing with the New Madrid fault lines and also the 4.7 earthquake that hit um, inside of California this, this evening I also want to show you also another document here. This is uh, from the New Madrid Earthquake Catastrophic Planning Project Overview. This was uh, a pre uh, taken back in uh, March 25th, 2009. And in this document here, they were showing their interest of uh, creating, uh, simulating a massive earthquake and making it as, as uh, realistic as possible. Plus, they were even discussing about blowing levees and, and uh, also dams in this and this is a, an old document that's showing you that this has all been their interest in this whole central piece of the uh, of this area of the United States and then also it shows you FEMA also were interested in it this was also printed in 2010 you can see here at the bottom of this article here that they were already interested in the Madrid uh, project and then also on the Army Corps of Engineers you see here that they were also interested in blowing the levees at the new Madrid uh, uh, floodways and this is even discussed in 2010 as well on May the 11th and I found that it was quite interesting that they've always had it all in their minds to go ahead and blow this place well after they've already blown it then also flash flood warnings were given in the area and now when there's a catastrophic event that's going to take place in that region I'm going to first of all bring this to your attention this is on CNBC News, which I'm going to uh, show you here real quick. Okay, they're talking in this subject that the uh, the market is the currency going to crash right now. The biggest story is the market is the currency crash right now, uh, and this is uh, occurring in the United States. This is all going to happen during this whole catalytic event, and there's a reason why that the Madrid is happening. And there's also a reason why that Barack Obama had uh, gave his statement that Osama bin Laden had been uh, killed on May the 11th when he gave his speech, or excuse me, May the 1st when he gave his speech uh, at 11:35 at night. Now, what I'm going to show you is is why the Madrid exercise was chosen uh, at this particular time on Sunday was because of several important key factors here were going on inside of the United States. First of all, they first announced that they were going to blow the uh, the levees on Saturday. This became the big focus when they did this, and there's a reason why. You look at this article that's coming out of the Cypress Times out of Illinois. There was Illinois University results in a response from riot police. Okay, They were violating the citizens that were living in this area, that were university students that were living in their homes. And these riot police and Homeland Security, MJTF, which is known as the Mochi Jurisdictional Task Force, were all in this neighborhood where these people live in their residence and violently shooting tear gas at them, turning on sound machines, literally uh, created a riot out of no violence whatsoever and this was even very well documented by several different reporters who captured this whole event. They just arrived on the scene 
and local uh, law enforcement and just started just tear gassing and, and rough housing and wrestling people to the ground and arresting them and uh, beating on them to get and uh, to to how you say to trigger them into a violence but anyhow another thing now see the Madrid fault lines levy explosions was a distraction this was to take you off the mind of what the Homeland Security was doing behind the scenes while you were focused on the Madrid fault lines the other big story that hit the airwaves that uh, was completely covered up because of the Madrid fault line exercise was this one the Ninth Circuit Court Here's arguments in Obama birth lawsuit. This came out on May the second. See, they were creating the uh, the the levy explosions and detonations so that you could not focus on this story that Osama bin Laden is being sued for his law his uh, birth certificate that he produced here this week, trying to say that he is a citizen by showing his lone birth uh, certificate and they're now claiming that it was a fraudulent certificate and that it was forged which I agree with them it was forged I looked at the information the documents on it the uh, the, in the investigations behind it and seeing that it was legitimately a fraud they did forge the certificate then also while that was all under the blanket you know being covered up with the Madrid fault line explosions then here you have this document here now this is a little bit off course here but this has a lot to do with Libya Dennis Kucinich uh, had filed complaints and filed a petition for an impeachment for mutiny and treason against the constitutional laws against Barack Obama for his invasion in Libya without the consent of, of members of Congress and, uh, and, this, and the citizens of the United States of America. Now, when Barack Obama came out and he made his announcement that Bin Laden was dead, this is what he didn't want you to know. This is what he kept under the under the blanket, and he used the Madrid exercises, and he used all these, uh, you know, all this exploding or exploding the the levees to cover up the riot police, the court system, and plus his membership that he is signing on to together and teaming up with Al Qaeda members to link the Libyan to link together to help the rebels fight against the Gaddafi uh, regime. Are y'all following what's going on now? Now, see, he had already had made friends with Al Qaeda. He's now giving them arms and giving them weapons. So now, so he needed to create all this distractions because why? He's being sued by the Ninth Circuit Court. He's being uh, also charged by the member, one of the members of Congress for treason and mutiny against against Congress and the Constitutional and the citizens of the United States for invading uh, Libya without the consent of members of the citizens and Congress. Now, so he's trying to do everything in the world to protect him by creating all of these distractions and all of these false flag pretexts. The Madrid ex uh, exercise is not an actual exercise. It's an actual disguise, a cover-up to conceal him from his crimes he's committing against the people of the United States and also staging false flag pretexts through the Madrid fault lines as well as guess what also bin laden see when he made the announcement that bin laden was uh, dead it went all over the national news and the international news that bin laden is dead the code name bin laden is dead was a coded message to send to everyone that is uh, attached to this plot to attack by false flag means and intents against the United States citizens and, and European citizens was to send a signal through the code name Bin Laden is dead and I'm going to show you how that is in just a second first of all after he had sit up there and told the American people that uh, that he was dead he, the State Department comes out and says that America is in danger now for retaliation for of his death and that bin laden uh, is threatening to uh, members are threatening to attack america now by means of nuclear attacks biological attacks and attacks on nuclear facilities okay you see that on the wall street journal now all these documents and everything i'm showing you will be posted below the video so you can see the connection of what's going on also it was on the huffington post that that uh, warnings of retaliations were being carried out by members that were loyal to bin Laden 
CNN reported the same thing. But I'm going to show you that this plot of attacking America in two th in, uh, with nuclear weapons has been a plot of the United States government even back during the Bush administration. This was on the Wall Street po or the excuse me the Washington Post published on December the 26th of 2006. All the agencies, CIA, the National Security, Secret Services, uh, FBI agencies and Homeland Security moved out of the Washington DC area to get out of a nuclear fallout. As soon as this document was posted, it was the following year, the summer of the following year, 2007, that six nuclear live armed nuclear weapons were attached to a B-52 bomber flying for three hours over the airspace of the United States. The government of the DODs stated that it was a mishap, but when you look deeper into the story, it was not a mishap. This was an actual crime fixing to be committed and it was about to be done inside of the United States. They were getting ready to nuke the United States. And the witnesses who were uh, attached to this B-52 bomber were all murdered, the ones who blew the whistle on the story. And this was even documented in uh, North Dakota news and local news inside of uh, Louisiana and they're in Barksdale Air Force Base in, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And now you can see the connection to what's going on. So the plot of nuking America to blame it on a false enemy that does not exist has been in the very well means and plots of the United States government for for a very long time. Now so now you can see the beginning of where the nuking America idea came from. It actually came from the United States. They were already preparing for a fallout and they were already uh, preparing for uh, n attacks to blame it on a false enemy that does not exist. So look here. Now that they announced that Bin Laden is dead, this was done before Bin Laden was announced dead. This came out April of 25th of 2011 that WikiLeaks had exposed uh, a documents stating that Al-Qaeda members that were locked up in Guantanamo Bay were saying that if anything happened to bin Laden, if he was killed or if he was uh, co uh, incarcerated, that they would nuke the United States and they would attack uh, nuclear facilities and attack them by biological warfare. And you can see this on the Telegraph newspaper. Again, so after this had happened, after they announced his death, they put out the, the warnings right here, which you see in this uh, in the Washington, uh, in, excuse me, in the National uh, News of the Huffington Post, of the Wall Street Journal, and CNN. After he had made this announcement, they put out the warnings, and then you see that there was already threats before these warnings came out. And then, after he had already announced their death, they first arrest five members or five people under terror laws near the British nuclear power plant. They claimed that these five terrorists or these five people were involved in plotting to attack a nuclear plant inside of London, was showing you the link to Al Qaeda, showing you that these people were all in retaliation, possible retaliation for the death of uh, bin of bin Laden, which is also again false flag pretext being designed, including the Madrid fault lines, being designed to conceal Barack Obama from being charged with criminal charges, blah, blah, blah. If, you know, this is what I, I personally had found. And then here you also see on the Evening Echo, London News also reported the same story, that they arrested five members and that were linked to plots of uh, attacking nuclear facility there in the, in the UK. But all of this, ladies and gentlemen, was all false flag pretexts in the mix to conceal Barack Obama's crimes against his own citizens and against his constitutions, as well as uh, crimes that even George W. Bush had even done and got away with, doing and trying to attempt to do the same thing that Barack Obama is only continuing to do by threatening American people with nuclear attacks and false flag pretexts to blame it on enemies that do not exist. But you see the connection. They create the false flag pretext with the Madrid earthquake so nobody can see when there's going to be a nuclear attack inside of the United States. Nuclear attack happens, then it becomes a domino effect where you have more than multiple attacks happening all at once to create the mayhem, the ultimate 9-11 uh, that would put 9-11 actually in, uh, in, in the back burner as a, as a little baby that you're pampering. 
In other words, it would make it look so small and minute compared to what the